So we're driving around. Cactus Kelly sees a creosote. She's asking permission now if we can pick from the creosote. <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna get kicked out or what the hell, if she wants us to come with her. Are we good? We're good. <laughs> Cactus Kelly is killing right now. Right here, look at these babies. Oh, look at those. They're like little mini pineapples. On yes, top of they them. are. <laughs> Pick them like this. There's no glockids or little spines. Really good. So they're kind of sour like a Granny Smith apple or more. And you can just bite right in it and get the fruit and the seeds if you're brave. Oh, it is kind of like a Granny Smith. Mmm, that's a pretty good one. That's really good. I never knew that. Holy yeah. shit. And then I like to pickle these, these babies up, these fruits. So here is a can of Sonoran Succotash. It has vinegar, salt, oh spices. Oh my god. That's so good. Mm. Oh, that was great. Mm-hmm. One more, Kelly. All right. Want to eat that whole thing? <laughs> That's like really good. Okay. Yeah, so there's a nice, huge saguaro. So they're about 67 years old when they start sprouting arms. 60 or 70 years old? 67. Oh, 67. Yeah, okay, yeah around yeah. that. So that guy's got to be, I mean, how long does it take for Probably it to Probably 100 more? years or more. Okay, wow. And then in late June, early July, this is what you get. The Tohono Autumn people call these Junes, and it's the dried fruits. You take it out from the husk, and it's like candy. Oh my gosh, it tastes like a, like a, like a fruit roll-up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 My god. Mesquite juice, I forgot to bring it again. Mesquite juice. Cactus Kelly is killing it right now. If she came and knocked on my freaking front door and was like, hi, I'm Cactus Kelly. <laughs> can I pick your yard? I'd be like, hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can also take the beans and boil them for a few hours. And it makes this really... Oh, the little <laughs> fancy glass too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's good. Brown uh, sugar. Yeah, brown sugar. Granola. Cinnamony. I'll take the uh, rest here. <laughs> yeah. You guys want to try a sip? Sure. Yeah. Can't go wrong. And so that's what the native peoples used to sweeten anything. Put mesquite in. I've seen this tree so many times and I did not know that. Yeah. Um, the brown gnarly yeah. tree. Yeah. They, like It was that sweet. The yeah. mesquite is that sweet. Yeah, you That's wouldn't crazy. think it'd be this sweet coming from a gnarly big tree. Gnarly, yeah, yeah. Hey everybody, I hope you enjoy what you're watching. I sure enjoyed doing it. Leave a comment below of your favorite moment. Ask me any question and the best comments I'll read in the next video. All right, see you guys in the next one. Yeah, so here's a prickly pear fruit. So if you want to use those tongs, Aaron. Yep, Because it's, these are covered with little glockids, which are barbed spines that will get into your skin for four months and fester up. Oh gosh, yeah. So, yeah, so, oh. so prickly pear is one of the few plants that gives you three kinds of foods. You've got a vegetable from the pad, you've got the flower that makes tea, and you've got the fruit for juice. So it's not real sweet, it's kind of in between, but has great color. Not really that sweet, it kind of has that cactusy flavor to it. Yeah. But, um, it's, I mean, I like it. Yeah. It's delicious, yeah. But one of its cool things is it helps with alcohol. So if you're gonna go out and drink alcohol, you have an ounce or two of this beforehand. Yeah. And then it, your hangover is 50% of what it would have been, <sighs> or less. So this is really good for this on Friday. <laughs> Damn. They've had college students try that out. Mm -hmm. This is our state Flowery. tree that is all green stems, green trunk. And here's some of the flowers that I picked and then fried with a little bit of oil and salt. Oh, that's really good. Yeah, it's kind of like popcorn or... Yeah. 
That's really good. Yeah. For sure. So this has been boiled and then eat it like soy edamame where you just go like this. Oh. Tease it out with your teeth. Oh my goodness. Oh, it tastes like edamame. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to get these into restaurants. This is desert edamame. This is this is our unique Arizona edamame. These would cool. make great hummus. Yeah. I've never had it like this. Yeah. <laughs> Two hours later. I've never seen tobacco like that light, you know? And then like, think about all the tobacco you see, how much darker the, it is, you know what I mean? Dude, do I actually fucking... I don't have any fucking equipment on me, dude. I would taste it rolled up and smoking right now. Damn it. So I'm gonna be the first guinea pig. Yeah, you've heard you are. to smoke this. <laughs> I love it. That's right. What we have to avoid there are little seeds in these things. Okay. And seeds, I guess, explode. Like in marijuana, they explode. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, <laughs> all people care about these days. Oh, it's falling into my pool, and I have to clean my filter more often. <laughs> it's litter. When I say it's not litter. It's lunch. It's lunch. Yeah. yeah. Man. You can eat the weeds in the backyard. Mm -hmm. And all of us pretend like plants are just decorative. Right. And that, um, so, yeah. Cactus Kelly, I'm gonna um, try to smoke this tobacco. Okay. That's gonna be a first for me to see. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be amazing. I'm so hyped for this right now. And it's funny too, because when I was driving here, I was like, I didn't know, I was like, oh shit, I forgot my fanny pack. So there goes my. My cigarettes, my, my weed, my rolling papers and everything. Sure enough, just walk out here. This is tobacco. Here we go. All right. Desert tobacco. All right, hold on. I gotta let the flavor sit in for a second. Let's take a couple rips. So far, it's very smooth. Like I thought it would be uh, more like a, like a robust it, I guess, flavor, but seems pretty smooth. It's actually pretty good. Wow. That's crazy. Wow. <laughs> like I thought I was gonna be like, Whew. but no, that's actually pretty good. I'm definitely gonna take. We'd be doing this. This is cool. <laughs> I never know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We had an epic day today with Cactus Kelly. We went out <laughs> urban foraging. We got some prickly pears, made some prickly pear juice, got some Nepales. We even got to smoke some desert tobacco too. So thank you so much, Kelly. Yeah. You can find my workshops and my products at Cactus Kelly on Instagram or Facebook or cactuskelly.com. So cheers, Cactus Kelly. Appreciate you coming out and yeah. being interested in this. That's great. Cheers. 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 cheers mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, what's up, everybody? I am here to read your comments from our latest video where I go and hang out with Neen. So let's see what y'all said. Skills 9000. Yo, this is incredible. Whoever's behind this channel, please keep this content coming. We will try. Need a couple sponsors out there to hook us up with some money and uh, we'll get some good stuff going. Ricky, Ricky Glazer. Dan Deacon shirt goes hard. <laughs> Thanks, Ricky. Got it at, they got out of the show a while ago. Then Dumb Data, y'all did my man Jaws dirty with that thumbnail. <laughs> oh, that thumbnail's not too bad. It could be worse. It's, a, it's pretty sick though. I back the thumbnail. Augusto Cobain, I love it. I skate and gym. Honestly, sometimes I feel guilty for loving the gym coming from skating and surfing, but this makes me see the light in Jaws. I love you, bro. I love you too, Augusto. And uh, don't feel bad going to the gym. We gotta keep our bodies good so that we can do all the fun stuff. The Chad B83, Neen seems so cool. Really enjoyed this. Neen is super cool. Robert Blackmore, I've been struggling with illness for a couple months now, trying to get some positive changes to help me recover. Great to see you guys getting after it. Heck yeah, Robert, you get after it too, dude. Heal up. Bean gone, is this Jaws new channel or what? This is not my channel, but this is a channel that we will be doing this stuff on is so keep your eye open for it the og cooter jennings aaron and julian from bashes loving the new video keep them coming 
Uh, I went to Bash's yesterday, dude. I didn't see you, Julian. But thanks, dude. Big Rig Harb, love to see y'all. Remember when you did the passion trip, passion trip back in the day and hit up El Paso? I do remember that. Uh, that was so long ago. Also, Jaws, thanks, thanks, brother, for sending me an autograph back when I was a kid through the mail. <laughs> no worries, Big Harv. That's crazy, that El Paso trip uh, with uh, Lizard King. Yeah, Neen was on it. That was so long ago. <laughs> Racky Woot, dude, I fucking love Jaws. LOL, that's like the most adorable shit ever, him trying to get into an ice bath. Dude is just so sincerely himself. You know why? Is because I seriously hate the ice bath. So like, you're really getting me. That's like pure me. Just hating, hating every second of that. Earthboy Media, yo Jaws, I know you got into mountain biking while being injured. You should come to Oregon and we can go bike packing. That sounds pretty fun. I might have to take you up on that, Earthboy Media. Steve, <laughs> Steve7419. Neen looks like a UFC fighter with all those tats and chiseled to the core. Dude, he is so buff. He's like a brick too. Life of the owl, jaw's gonna be swole in 90 days. Put some creatine and protein shakes in him. He might jump down the Sheckler Gap. Oh, that's funny. I actually do. I actually just started putting creatine in uh, my smoothies. It's pretty good. Uh, Toby Odo, this is sick. Ha ha, how sore did you pull up? Uh, I was pretty sore the next day, for sure. I do remember being like way sore in my shoulders in like my uh, triceps and bicep area. MT special, I have to ask, after this insane workout, how long did it take for you to get back on the board without being too sore? Uh, I think I probably skated the, I mean, I, the, the day, a couple days after. It wasn't my legs that were sore, it was my arms. My shoulders and arms were dust. Davil, 3616, serious question. Can these guys dunk a basketball? I hear you probably request a video of Jaws throwing it down. There's no way I can dunk a basketball. I can't jump high at all. Therefore, like, I don't have any pop. Neen could probably dunk a basketball. I can't. There's no way. Pat McConville, Aaron needs to eat something. <laughs> Neen was feeding me good, dude. So that was all of them. Thank you guys for all the comments. Uh, keep them coming. We're going to put out more videos. Uh, and I'll be reading more of you guys' comments. All right, have a good one. Peace. <laughs>